Hello, Shelley from Spin Cushions here, Crochet Designs by Shelley Husband. Today I'm going to show you part nine of Granny Square Academy. This pattern is called Together Tessa, a different type of cluster we're going to be making. Lots of fun. So let's get started. We'll attach our yarn to our hook with a slip knot. No, we won't. Yes, we will. <laughs> and then we will chain one. And all of our round one stitches will be worked into that chain one. We're going to chain three and do a stitch in that first chain, just a treble UK double US, chain two, two more stitches in that same hole, chain two, two more stitches, And another chain two and two more stitches. Okay, so that's four groups of two stitches done. We just need to chain one, join with a stitch to the top of our third chain. And round one is done. Round two, chain three. Just going to be our first stitch, stitch over the joining stitch. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to do our first lot of together stitches. UK terms, it's a treble two together. US terms, it's a double two together. So yarn over, start a stitch in this first stitch here. Stop there. Yarn over, start a stitch in the next stitch. Yarn over through two, then you've got three on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. So we've gathered two stitches together. Chain two, in our corner, two stitches, chain two, two stitches. One, two, chain two, and two more. I'll just show you that together stitch again. Chain two. Yarn over, start a stitch in this first stitch, stop there. Yarn over, start a stitch in the next stitch. Stop there, yarn over, pull all three. Chain two and your corner. I'll do that around and show you what's next. All right, I've done my last together stitch, chained two, and now I'm gonna do two stitches in the same place as our first stitches. One, two, chain one, join, with a stitch to our third chain. All right, the next round is just a solid round, almost. Um, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, stitch over the joining stitch, a stitch in the next two stitches. The first one's the top of our chain three, one, two. We're going to do two stitches in the two chain space, one, Two. We're going to skip the next stitch and do two stitches in the two chain space. Then a stitch in the next two stitches. One, two, and we're up to our corner. So just two stitches, chain two, two stitches. So I'll do that all the way around and show you the next part. All right, all the way around, just the last two stitches in the first corner to be done. Chain one and join with a stitch to that first stitch. Okay, round four. Chain three starting chain, stitch over the joining stitch. And this time we're going to be doing more together stitches but there's going to be more legs in each one. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and starting in this stitch here, we're going to stitch four together. So yarn over, insert your yarn in, loop to the front, yarn over through two, yarn over, start a next a stitch in the next stitch, through two, yarn over, start one in the next stitch, through two, yarn over, start one in the next stitch. 
yarn over through two. So we have five loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all five. So we've gathered four stitches together. Then we are going to chain three, two, three, starting in the next stitch. It looks like this one's free, but look closely. You'll see that that's got a stitch worked into it. So this is the next one. So it should be the one on the other side of this cluster. We're going to start another four stitch cluster. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through all. Chain three, one, two, three, skip the last two stitches and our corners, two stitches, chain two, two stitches. So I'll do that all the way around and show you the next bit. All right, my four stitch clusters are all done. I've chained three, just need to do two stitches in the same place as our first. One, two, chain one, join with a stitch. To the top of our third chain goodness me okay next round is a solid round chain three starting chain but this time there's only one stitches sorry I keep bumping in the corner so we don't need to do one over the joining stitch so we've chained three to be our starting stitch then we're going to chain one and we're going to to stitch two stitches together. So yarn over, poke your hook in that first stitch, yarn over through two, stop, yarn over, poke your hook in the next stitch, through two, yarn over, pull through all three. Chain one, three stitches in the three chain space, one, two, three a stitch in the next stitch so it's when you're working into the cluster it's that bit there three in the three chain space one two three one in the next stitch three in the three chain space one two three now chain one and we're going to crochet these twos together start one yarn over in the next stitch start two and finish them off chain one then our corners this time is one stitch chain two one stitch so you do that all the way around and I'll show you the last round all right all the way around i've chained one now i just need to do one stitch in the same place as our first chain one and join with a slip stitch to the top of our third so that's the top of our cluster there's a one chain gap so this one here is the one that i want join with a stitch okay last round just small stitches double crochets uk terms single crochets us one over the joining stitch one in that first stitch, one in the one chain space, skip that two stitches together, one in the one chain space on the other side, then one in every stitch along here. And there's 11 of them. La 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 la. Getting there. Okay, one in the one chain space, skip the two stitches together, one in the one chain space, one in that last stitch of the side, then the corner is one stitch, chain two, one stitch. So I'll do that all the way around and show you the very end. All right, I've been all the way around, just need to do one stitch in the same place as our first, chain two, and join with a slip stitch to that first stitch. And that is that. Together, Tessa is done. Part nine of Granny Square Academy. There's only one part to go. Hopefully you've been following along with the written pattern and are getting more and more confident each time we do another square. If you're not sure what it is, go to my blog, spincushions.com and look for the Granny Square Academy tab. 
Thanks very much. Bye.